I have a couple of Dweg Home models. Hey everybody, Doug here from 2 Plus Tough, and this is going to be the start of an ongoing series called The Path of Conquest. Essentially, if you didn't know, um, Parabellum, in one of their more recent books, Chronicles and Legends, came out with a, a narrative campaign system that allows players to kind of slow grow their armies over time, and do so with kind of a narrative format. If you are familiar with the game uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar or uh, 40k, they would call it the Crusade system or the Path to Glory system. It's building a small army and then growing it over time and your units become crazy diverse. Um, the Conquest one I actually find incredibly interesting because there's actually achievements and things like that that can be unlocked for various units. By the end of it, units will have crazy awesome rules and be all kinds of buffed up to the nines and just kind of create character and stories. And so that's exactly what I'm interested in doing. If you want to join me in my slow grow army building thing, uh, I do have a discount code for you in the description down below, just to be perfectly clear. It's an affiliate code. It, every time you use it, you save 10% and it goes a long way to supporting the channel. And like I said, um, I'm going to, in this video, take out my Dweg home and actually see what I own because there's a lot of kits in here that I don't remember buying. <laughs> and so um, we're going to see what I own and then kind of plan out my starting point for the Path of Conquest. Okay, so here is most of it. I still have a few things in boxes, but uh, basically I just wanted to kind of skip past all the doubles that I had. So let's kind of outline what my options are, and that'll kind of dictate where we're going when it comes to starting a Path of Conquest army. So uh, over here, this huge section is all Hold Warriors. Now, if you're not familiar with the Dweg Home, they have a very solid um, base infantry unit, the Hold Warriors every single one of their hero options can take them. So having a bunch is not a bad idea. Just uh, It's just flexibility. Then you can throw as many uh, you know, heroes and, and their respective regiments and warbands as much as possible. So that's cool. I'm definitely gonna paint up a whole bunch of those because it just makes perfect sense for list building purposes and allows me the freedom to do whatever I want with heroes later on. So nice. Here we have one regiment of Hold Ballista. These two actually come from the same kit, this little L shape we got going on here. This is our range support. I don't put a ton of stock in them. Um, I've been playing some TTS of this game and uh, my goodness, they just, they kind of just crumple like paper. There are some cool things about them, um, but they are not a hard hitting shooting unit. You know, they're not, they're not there to mulch through the enemy. They're there to like take pot shots. Up here in the back center, we have the uh, dragon, what are they, dragon slayers. Uh, that's a, a very, very heavy hitting melee unit that they're heavy as a unit, which means they come in later in the game. They can be kind of hard to position um, for sure to be effective, but they, whenever they touch something, whatever they touch just evaporates. So it's cool. Over here on the top right, these are actually hold thanes, sort of the elite version of the warriors. They look a little different because uh, these two are actually multi-kits and I had requested the thanes have helmets on. I had a buddy help me build these out. Um, thank you so much, Wiley, for helping me. So I requested the helmets on. So they look almost identical to the Dragon Slayers. The big difference is the weapons. They have hand weapons and shields, whereas the Dragon Slayers have the giant, you know, pikes or whatever. Um, here in front of them, I have these guys. Um, these are, let's see, Flame Berserkers. Now, one thing, actually in my box over here, I still have another full regiment of these guys, the Flame Berserkers. I haven't really looked at their profile much. Um, they seem like incredibly cool models, so that is high on my priority list. Definitely painting the models that I think look fun is high on the priority list. Uh, so we have a second regiment of these guys. We actually, in my box, also have a second regiment of Dragon Slayers, but they were partially painted by somebody else. I'm not sure how far I'll get with them. I might just do like one or two extra stands, so like four or eight more dudes. Over here on the right, uh, you can barely see it on the cam, but we have the Inferno Automata. 
and these are incredibly useful. They are definitely going in my starting list. I've seen them used to great effect. Essentially, they are a, a light construct unit, and so this faction does not have a whole lot of light options, period, and then certainly ones that are fast. Across the army, Dwegom, they're dwarves. They're, they're supposed to be slow, but their constructs can be faster, and so these guys are fantastic for rushing up the board and setting the reinforcement line further ahead. So that's nice. Um, this little bottom row right here, where you can see my finger on the bottom of the screen, these guys are the, what are they, Fireforged, I believe? Yes, they are Fireforged, and if you have not seen these models, stop what you are doing and go look, because these dudes are like basically Dwegholm in power armor with a shoulder-mounted lava cannon. It is quite possibly the most metal thing ever. I love it to death. And in the bottom left, I just put all my various heroes, uh, so I'll just run through them. Uh, I have, let's see, let me go to the main page so I can get a list of all the names for these guys, because they're easy to forget. I know I have two hold regs. This is like the general melee hero. I think I have a third one in packaging somewhere. Yep, sure do. Okay, so if I don't like any paint schemes, I can figure that out. Uh, we have this guy and another one new in box. Uh, this is the flame caster. Da -ba -da -ba. Very cool looking mini. We have the Ardent Caraway, which is another kind of minor hero for them. And oh, uh, and then two, three Tempered Steel Shapers. One of them has been customized by the previous owner, and I am definitely going with that one. The guy with the sword of uh, the axe in his hand. Oh yeah. So that is my collection. Uh, like I said, in the box still behind me, there's a second unit of Flame Berserkers and a second unit of um, Dragon Slayers. I might use that standard bear instead. This one's kind of beaten up. And so from there, we're going to move over to the shared screen and kind of build out our 1,000 point roster and kind of choose uh, what we're going to paint based on that. Okay, here we are at the roster builder. Now, if you go to, this is the army builder for Parabellum, and if you actually make an account, uh, you have to make an account and you have to be signed in. Uh, otherwise, you won't see this third option here. But Conquest Legends is how you can create your narrative list. So, uh, payroll name, we're going to go with uh, Barak Zul. I like that one. Okay, we are the Dweg Home. And here we go. And it functions just like a list builder from before, but because you can save it on your account, you can actually come back here over and over again and update it. You know, I would say carrying the in paper sheets like PDFs that they have available for you are really useful when it comes to playing the game just to keep track of stuff. But in between games, updating this roster really, really is nice. So what do we want to do for our first thousand points? Well, let's see. We have a few different options here. Temp I do actually have a, uh, a sorcerer as well over here. He's from my um, the display model collection, but he'll work as a uh, as an actual leader. Let's see. I'm looking at the units that they can take. So stone forged, fire forged. Yep. So we have our fire forged guys, dragon slayers, thane ballista. Actually, the Hold Array has uh, most of the options that I have. Let's take a look at the Sorcerer. He's got Fire Forged Warriors. Inferno Automata, that's a big one, that's a big get. I'm looking at their Warband options in case that was a little ambiguous. Uh, this is for the Tempered Steel Shaper. Fire Forged Ballista Warriors, Steel Forged. I don't have any of those. And what's an Ardent Carowab? Flame Berserkers, Stone Sentinels. Hold Ballista, Hold Warriors. Okay, so I think I know what I'm gonna do. Let's throw a Karawa and, oh, maybe a Rig. Can the, what can the Rig take? Forgot about that already. Okay, Steel Shaper. Was it the Sorcerer? Sorcerer's the only one who can bring Inferno Automata. Well, let's do this. Let's throw the sorcerer up there. Okay. And then we're gonna go Arden Caraway. We're going to change his warband. What? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. 
Oh, okay. Normally, uh, with the normal list builder, you have to like go in and uh, add these directly to the leader below them, but that's actually not true with this one. So, very, very interesting. Um, Ardent Carroway. Let's let's modify him a little bit. What do we got? Um, price. We're not going to change his renowned. Can't claim his perks from the treasury. This gives you a nice little breakdown of all the things that he is re uh, basically uh, able to achieve. These are achievements. Recruit regular elite is how well you do with them. Um, for me, I'm not so much worried about the spells and stuff like that. That's the minutia I'm going to leave like some points available for. But let's see. So we have the Ardent Karawa, and he can have... Hold warriors, yeah, we definitely want at least two regiments of those. Um, we also want flame berserkers because I like those models a lot. I'm just gonna throw what sounds cool up here and then we're gonna figure out points in a sec. Tempered sorcerer because I want the inferno automata. And that means I have to have a, uh, Oh, at least one other unit to go with him. So we're going to go Fireforged because I like those dudes. That definitely brings me over on my points. Um, I suppose we could drop one of those and uh, fill the rest of the points up with upgrading our heroes for sure. That leaves 75 points for upgrades. Um, how many... How much does an additional stand cost for each of these guys? We can we can make these guys pretty cool. Uh, let's go with... I feel like I'm going to be better served by putting more into uh, Hold Warriors than anything else. Hold Warriors and... Yeah, I like that one a bit more. Because it gives me a slightly bigger... Um, One of these has a slightly bigger, you know, uh, board presence. So is it the best list? Of course not. Is it a functional one? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Usually if we're doing like a 500, uh, 1500 point game, uh, this is about something I would do. So we're going to be able to pick spells here. Let's, let's pick spells. We will work this out together. Okay, I'm not worried about masteries yet. Did I pass? Oh, yeah, here we go. So he has two spells available to him. Dismay. Target becomes a broken regiment. Has no effect on regiments that are already broken. That is nice. Um, and what are you? Scaling. Uh, remove bro any broken status from the target regiment exactly as if it had used Rally. So, okay, so he, this guy's playing with their bravery, either my stuff or my opponent's. Um, I think, let's see. So if you destroy half of a unit's, what's the range on this, 12? Uh, I'm not worried about the scaling. He's priest five. Um, I'll go with resolve. One, it's cheaper, and two, uh... I like I like having my own guy stick around more than I do like dispelling my opponent. Now as for this, this is my tempered sorcerer. So we have a few more options. We have 20 points left. Let's see what we can get for that. Target regiment cannot perform impact attacks on its next charge, but it only has a range 10, so it has to be close. Target regiment, yeah, no, it has to be really close. I wish, I wish that has this had said um, you choose a friendly unit and they cannot get impacts hits on them like he can pick a friendly unit and those guys aren't bothered by horses <laughs> uh rock shaping nominate a garrison table no i've never played with a garrison table feature sorry guys um here we go just a simple simple missile weapon i like that because that means he can actually like do stuff <laughs> and let's see Here we go, important potent scryer. Instead of using a spell casting action, the character may look at the top cards of the opponent's stack. I like that. Boom, there we are, a thousand points. Like I said, is it a good thousand? Not really. Uh, is it what I want to paint? Yes, I actually have a head start with one of the Hold Warriors regiments. 
And the other stuff is just stuff I'm excited to paint. You know, I can create uh, very simple war bands. And, uh, yeah, the Inferno Automata and Fireforged coming in with the Sorcerer is, is pretty cool. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then the Ardent Caraway is really carrying the list when it comes to the actual bodies. And so that's fine with me. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and focus in on this. Let's... Now, you may be asking yourself, hey, Doug, why did you choose these specific leaders? You know, why wouldn't you go... Maybe down to one hero and then really flesh out the units to go with them and, and probably have a better 1,000 point list. And the answer is pretty simple. When I approach these kinds of slow grow or campaign systems where you're, you're intended to add units over time, I don't start by saying, okay, what's, a, what's, a, what's the best 1,000 point army I can make? That is so not on my radar. Instead, I think to myself, what do I want to paint and then what do I want to paint in the future? Okay, and so looking at this list, the reason why I put it together is one, I want to paint Fireforged. I want to paint uh, Inferno Automata. Um, I love the Flame Berserker models. The Hold Warriors, they're just kind of filler, but they're going to be filler in any list. When it comes to the heroes, specifically looking at the Ardent Caraway, um, not too much really excites me about this, if I'm honest with you, outside of the Flame Berserkers. But if we look at Tempered Sorcerer, this is where we start cooking with fire. This unit here, the Hellbringer Drake, okay? I'm going to show you a picture of this bad boy. I've talked about him before. Uh, his model got uh, delayed, and I think it's coming out sometime in February, March, something like that. But this is uh, the model that I am excited for when it comes to this army. Um, it is basically... Dwarves meet Mad Max. He's got a Drake slung with two huge cannons on it, and he's just charging, like, go forward and let me hit them with my sword. So, honestly, this whole little back part of the Sorcerer, Automata, and Fireforged, that mainly exists so that I can have a unit ready to go, or at least a, a warband ready to go, that the Hellbringer Drake can fall into once that comes out. So... Again, that's just my approach. I understand that there's definitely better 1,000 point lists out there. And I have skipped over some of the relics and stuff like that. I'm going to go back and fill those in later. But yeah, so this is my 1,000 points of Dweg Home for the Path of Conquest. So like I said, that is it for mine. I have the 1,000 points, two liters, a couple units to go with them. And then we'll be growing more units and stuff like that over time. Now... This book here has more details about how you go about achieving objectives. Some of the things on the um, payroll tracker that I put up on, on the screen don't really make sense without the context of this. Essentially, these units that I chose for my first initial list, they all have like a progress bar and they can gain experience by completing various tasks and winning battles. And so as you're doing that, your army gains experience, or they call it notoriety. And so then you can level up, they get perks, extra abilities, that kind of stuff. So the list might start off pretty dumpy, but uh, it's going to get pretty cool here pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and pack everything up except for the units that are part of my 1,000 point list. And I invite you to join me whenever I do a live stream or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll do some updates as I go. And I'll kind of do this if you've seen my Path to Glory videos where I just do an update on what I've painted and what I've played. I'm going to do very much the same thing. One more time, be sure if you want to participate and do anything you know, alongside me with this, uh, use that coupon code in the description below to save yourself some coin and uh, let me know that you want to do it by supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and pack all this up and I will catch you in my next video. Happy Wargaming.